Hello guys! Hello! In this video, you are going to learn how to make a paella. And the actual chef will be my father-in-law. So stay tuned for the video. So the first step in cooking paella mixta, which is meat combined with seafood, is cooking the actual wings. So the wings take a longer time to fry, and so that's why we start with them first. You can cook them in olive oil or whichever oil you prefer. While they're cooking, you should be preparing the mussels, mejillones, um, and cleaning off their shells because they come super dirty. So you have to rinse them with water and scrape the crap off of their shells. Then you begin to chop up the onion into fine pieces. You add it to the paella so that it can begin to soften up. You then need to uh, chop up two cloves of garlic and add it to um, the oil and the wings frying um, so that it can begin to soften up. You need to add one red bell pepper and one green pepper. Um, and he has chosen to cut it up because it's a lot quicker and you can cut it into small pieces. But you can either cut it or uh, chop it. Um, you then mix it up and you allow the vegetables to begin to simmer and to soften up. Um, so as you can see in the picture, they're basically um, cooked. Um, and the wings are almost finished. So when the wings are almost finished, you should go ahead and add in the mussels. I um, mean, you know that they are cooked because they begin to open up. Um, the next step is to add in the pulpo, sepia, calamares, so squid. Um, as far as adding in the seafood, you need to add them in um, knowing like how long it takes to cook. And so mussels take a little bit longer, so you add those first. And then the pulpo or the squid takes a little bit uh, less time, and so you add them in. The langostinos or shrimp should be the last to be added in, the last type of seafood, because they only take a short amount of time to cook. And so once they are red, you know that the red slash pink, you know that they are cooked and you should take them out so that you don't overcook them. Um, you don't need to add any salt or pepper or anything yet just because seafood within itself releases a lot of salt. Um, and so you go ahead and um, begin taking out like the shells and the um, of the mussels as well as the shrimp um, so that it isn't overcooked and that you have more space in the paella and that is when you begin to add in the water. So this paella um, has servings for four to six people so we're going to add six glasses of water which means we're going to actually add three uh, glasses of rice. Um, in a moment you'll see the condiment or the species that makes the paella the yellow color. It's called azafran. It's actually an orange powder but by adding it in um, it is what makes the um, actual paella yellow. So you see it there, the orange, the little glass of orange powder. He has already added it in, but this is when you add the three cups of rice in. Um, so here's the yellow color because of the azafran. You add the three cups of rice in, you allow it to cook, simmer for 30 to 35 minutes, and there you have the paella mixed up. As you can see, you have the mussels and the shrimp um, to decorate it. All right, guys, thank you very, very, very much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe.